London, 1868. These are the founding fathers of the new institution of surveyors. It's a child of the Industrial Revolution, born of the need to halt the chaos of an unregulated construction industry. In a great and free country where land is constantly being converted to more valuable purposes, the surveyor must be a person of enlarged and cultivated knowledge. Today, as the Royal Institution of Chartered Surveyors, it enjoys a global reputation for setting and maintaining standards. And the legacy of this historic site has resonated across continents and generations. Amongst the RICS's most prized artefacts is a replica of the Great Theodolite used by Sir George Everest to measure the mountain that bears his name. This book went ashore in a hydrographic surveyor's pocket on the 6th of June, 1944, D-Day. Within these delicate pages are the plans for the Mulberry Floating Harbours, prefabricated structures that landed hundreds of thousands of men and millions of tonnes of supplies. The RICS building is right in the heart of London, in a city with so much history and yet so modern. And that's like the RICS itself. At its core remain those traditional values, and yet it's always pushing forward and innovating. RICS as a global institution is having huge impact around the world. We now have 120,000 charters, fairs, trainees and students operating in around 150 countries and really helping to shape the environment around which we all work, live and play. And when you look at that, so it's everything from, you know, building infrastructure in, in India um, through to housing developments in, in America, office developments, everything that you see as you walk down on a street has really had some involvement by a chartered surveyor. These are the most recent graduates of the RICS School of Built Environment at Amity University, Noida, India. Highly skilled professionals are vital to fill a skills gap in this rapidly growing urbanising country. So the people who are qualifying now from the School of the Built Environment are going to be the people who are going to be building India and therefore we see a massive opportunity for India to develop professionals who can build all of the smart cities of the future. Half the world's population live in cities and even cities half a world apart face similar challenges as they plan for urban living in the 21st century. Preparing the next generation of surveyors is crucial Transport for London supports an apprenticeship scheme with the RICS and its remit is wide. It's so diverse and vast. I could be working on a major station upgrades in one project. Next I could be working in retail pods on, on another. I think what surprised me most about this career is how diverse and wide ranging it is and how many different types of surveying there is as well. So you have general practice, you have your property surveyors, your building surveyors, quantity surveyors. With all types of skills to suit all types of people, the institution is at the forefront of the drive to recruit more women. At the moment, you tend to work more in a man's world, um, but we are making changes in that. There are more women coming in, there's more, there's more of a balance. But the industry that we're in is so exciting because we're not just building physical assets, we're building schools that will change the future of education, we're building research laboratories, dementia research, we're changing the way that the national railway system is working across the UK. You know, it's a really important, exciting place to be at the moment. Those founding fathers would hardly recognise the way the technology has changed over the years, but they would certainly embrace the improvements it's brought. Technology has a, an enormous role to play as we move forward with all the advancements, whether it's looking at the Internet of Things or advanced robotics, the application of artificial intelligence, computational design, machine learning, big data, big analytics. And I think, importantly, the RICS has got a massive role to play to help equip surveyors of the future to really harness and apply these changing technologies to the benefit of their clients and society and in doing so really live out that key value of working in the public interest. 
The United Nations predicts that 6.3 billion of us will live in cities by 2050, from largely rural, isolated communities to interdependent urban networks in less than 200 years. The RICS was there as the changes in society gathered pace. It's uniquely placed to keep them on track so that everybody benefits from sustainable growth in the future. Governments, regulatory bodies, international agencies such as the UN are calling upon RICS to help set standards, to provide advice and to offer training. And RICS has taken a leading role in the development of international standards for valuation, for the measurement of construction and property, and very importantly, for ethics. I look forward immensely to representing our many thousands of professionals around the world as we celebrate RICS's 150th anniversary.